Good evening, everyone. It's Father's Day today, so happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Uh, I wanted to make my dad a coaster uh, that he can put at his work desk. And so I'm going to show you guys real quick how to do it. It's going to be a quick design, and I'll show you two different methods of doing it. Uh, both are kind of similar, but different in a way. Uh, one with less filament changes, one with more filament changes, and I'll show you how to do that. And why am I making this on the evening of Father's Day and not before? So everybody could design it well because you can pretty much apply this to any design so the theory here is how i designed this and uh how i get them printed and uh, i'll show you everything so let's go over to fusion real quick and right here in a new sketch we're gonna do this real quick let me move myself over here if i can find my camera and right here okay right there okay we're gonna do this real quick i'm gonna start with a circle uh usually with the coasters i like to be around 90 to 95 so i'm gonna make 95 millimeters right here and then uh let me because i want to outline because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a coaster and i'm gonna cut the design inside of it so it can catch the water or whatnot so i'm gonna take another circle and i'm gonna make it 90 and then i'm gonna make another circle by pressing c and i'm gonna do this one 92 because i want a little cutout right here and i'll show you it'll make sense in a second um so i'm gonna go ahead and insert the design that i kind of liked and i think the design was somewhere over here best ad i think it was this one okay perfect yep best ad right there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna resize this real quick a bit right about probably right about there ish now i got the design right there now there's two methods to do it okay so the one that takes less filament changes is you know doing it per components and the one that will i think will be around three to four filament changes if, if you extrude everything and then cut it down so i'll show you both me methods how to do it uh let me lock the constraints on this one real quick okay now that we got that all right i'm gonna hit e for extrude and the first method is doing it per different components okay so i'm going to highlight everything and i'm going to do i'm going to extrude it because there's going to be two colors right now what i'm thinking of doing black on the bottom and then finishing it on the top with the marble filament that i have so i'm going to do the black i want is negative three so total is going to be five millimeters so i'm going to do negative three because i want the sketch on the top still so negative three go back over here and hit the eyeball on the sketch okay now I'm going to click everything that's going to come up two millimeters more. So I want to leave the dad, the best dad cutouts on the bottom. So I'm going to pick this guy, extrude two millimeters, and I'm going to do new component. And I'm going to do click here, click the insides of the B, click the D, and I think R right here. I think that's pretty much everything that's going to get extruded up, and I'm going to hit OK. So if I was to hide the sketch and show you guys what this looks like, so we got right there, okay, three millimeters on the bottom, two on the top, and it's got the cutout, right? Simple. I mean, what was that, like two minutes maybe? Maybe three, four minutes, okay? So we're going to go ahead and export this, and I'm going to call it Best Dad version one, step file, and I'm going to export that. And let's bring that in here, Best Dad version one. Okay, so now that I got this right here, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to leave everything black, and I think this part right here, I'm going to do, no, not that part this part i'm going to do marble filament on the top so you see how that looks black on the bottom and then it's going to finish it up with the marble filament on the top let's slide this uh real quick and see how long it's going to be and what it comes out to okay so 50 minutes and one filament change okay one filament change 50 minutes obviously so it's going to do the black then it's going to start doing the marble and then it's going to finish that off it's going to give us a nice cut out of the best ad ever okay so that's one way to do it okay another way to do it is let me go back 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 okay right here another way to do it is to extrude everything five millimeters and then cut the parts down okay so i'm going to hit e and i'm going to do five millimeters hit okay i'm going to bring the sketch back actually i'm sorry it's going to be negative five because i still want the sketch on the top okay so i'm going to extrude it negative five millimeters so let me do this extrude negative five and then hit OK. So that way my sketch stays on top so I can still select everything, okay? So now I wanna cut down for the parts. Before we pick the parts that came up, this method, we wanna pick the parts that go down, okay? So it's gonna be this line right here. I'm gonna hit E, I'm gonna hit negative two, okay? It's gonna be this, 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 this guy, D, D right there. 
okay and this guy this guy this guy two stars e v e r and this is everything that's going to get cut down okay and i'm going to hit okay all right same thing if i take the sketch down okay same thing but now it's all one body okay so if you wanted to do single color this is it right here all you got to do is extrude it negative five cut the parts down one millimeter two millimeter however deep you want okay and then you can print this one color or you can do the paint function inside of the bamboo slicer and i'll show you how to do this so this is version two right here so let's go here let's bring in version two okay so if i want to achieve the same thing that i had as the other one so it was four filament changes i think it was and 58 minutes or something like that so this one if i want to do that if i want to achieve the same thing right i'm gonna do let's see that right there and this and this because i want the marble filament on the top and then this and then this so i'm using the paint function of the bamboo slicer right now okay so that's pretty much the the effect that i was kind of going for before right so if i was to slice this okay the only problem i have is using bamboo paint right there and i don't know if there's any other way to do it okay three filament changes 54 minutes so that not that big of a difference right so the only problem i have is one two three it only does when you use a bamboo slicer and you paint it only does three layers of paint so some of that black might show through okay that's the only thing i'm scared of okay so that's why i like to do it the way i do it to make sure i get enough layer of colors in there okay um the other way to do it is if i was to go here and erase all the painting okay and let's say i want to do the insides okay the insides of the uh let's just say the insides i want to do marble filament okay so i paint all of this stuff on the inside and boom i mean you can pretty much do any color you want you can the idea is the same it doesn't make with this design it doesn't make that big of a difference you know with the filament changes and the timing involved um but this way everything is black okay and the only thing you will see white is the actual lettering right and the cutout so if i was to slice it like this okay four filament changes 51 minutes not that bad again the only problem i have is one two and three three layers of white okay and then it's going to start filling it up with the black okay that's the only problem i have with the painting it like this so i like to do it to where i want to make sure there's enough paint uh enough uh, filament to have solid colors right so the way i'm doing it here with the first version i did okay with the different components okay and i think it was this one uh yep it was this one right here so the bottom is going to be black which it don't, really doesn't matter to me it doesn't really matter right the bottom is black uh the top's going to finish off with two millimeters of marble filament right so if i was to slice it i know that this two millimeters right here is all all um marble filament and i'm not going to have a bleed through okay so I'm gonna go ahead and print this and I'm gonna see how it comes out and uh, then I'll be back and I'll show it to you guys. Girl, you got me shook from the way your body looks. Got me riding hooks, got me feeling like a rook. I don't do it by the book, but for you, I'll take a look. All right, and we're back and it came out beautiful, beautiful. Look at this right here. Let me zoom it in a little bit so you guys can see. Let me turn off the light so there's no reflection, but look at that. This is the marble filament I was talking about, and hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, but it gave it a really nice effect right here, best ad ever. And it's got the two millimeters of cutout. The back is black, and the front looks like this. So I hope you guys can uh, see that really good. But I might, I'm, I'll put some pictures in it too, uh, in the video. But that's pretty much um, how it's done. Okay, that's pretty much how you know I do my designs that quick. You know what you want. You kind of got the sizing down. The coasters, like I say, I usually go with 90 millimeters, 95 millimeters, somewhere about there. I usually go 45 millimeters. And uh, once you have all that down, you like a design. I mean, it's a matter of just putting a couple circles together, put that in, and boom, you're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, check me out on the Instagram. I usually post all of my stuff on Instagram. And uh, if there's anything you guys want, if there's any questions, if I went through it too fast, uh, please feel free to hit the comment and uh, let me know if there's something that I can help you out with. 
Thank you so much and happy Father's Day.